long as I live And the trouble rise hasten to Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and just bless the Lord, everybody. Come on, bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible that admonishes us that in all things we are to give thanks. So even in this, we thank God. Hallelujah. Come on, raise the praise in the house and bless his name. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. We have some place to go. We have a God, hallelujah, that's ready to help us and to strengthen us. Hallelujah. We bless his name on today. We want to welcome you to the Victorious Faith and Ministries Church of God in Christ. Praise God. I am the servant leader, pastor and superintendent Samuel Sago, and we are blessed and highly favored of God. We are grateful to him, praise the Lord, as we come to this celebration, this time of recognition, uh, reflection, and remembering, and celebration for the life of Mother Annie Lee Kapru Wade. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on, give her a hand clap and celebrate her life. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I am just so happy and just so pleased, amen, to have known her and to experience the fact, amen, that the Lord allowed her to touch my life. We bless God on today for his goodness and for his mercy and for his grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm going to need a mic over here, amen, for Pastor Cobbins. Praise God. Pastor Cobbins is going to uh, pray for us. Amen. The uh, funeral home is coming at this time. Praise God. Amen. For uh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo! Ah, Baba. Hey. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Years ago, Mother gave her life to the Lord. And she lived her calling. And this is the day that she lived for. So that when God would call her home, hallelujah, glory to God. And look, y'all going to have to help me here today. <laughs> ah, y'all going to have to help me. Praise God. Amen. Come on, I need, you, I need you to declare it in the atmosphere. Everything is going to be all right. Come on. Declare it in the atmosphere. Everything gonna be all right yeah 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 it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right praise God amen mother taught us how to be all right <laughs> so it's gonna be all right hallelujah praise God pastor Cobbins praise the Lord amen he's going to he is one of mother former pastors he's going to come praise God and offer prayer on today, amen. And those who have been designated for scripture, you will follow him. And then, praise God, at that particular time, we'll be favored with the selection, amen, the musical selection. Let us receive now, praise God, amen. Pastor yes, Cobbins. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, Lord, we thank you right now, thank you for your goodness, Lord, we come thanking you, Lord, Lord, we just bless your name, Lord, oh, you've been good to us, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, we have we come this morning, today, Lord, to celebrate, Lord, to celebrate the home going. Hallelujah, yours, Lord. This is one of your angels, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we just thank you right now, Lord. Bless us now, God. Give strength today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe you right now, God. We claim your deliverance right now. We claim you right now, God. Oh, God. Oh, my Savior. Oh, my Savior. Oh, Hababahaya. Oh, my Savior, my Savior. Look on us today. Look on us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless your people now, God. And we are similar here, Lord. Oh, God, to celebrate. Oh, God, some my criteria, Lord. Let them rejoice. 
Let them rejoice in you, Lord, because this is your day, Lord. This is the day that you made. We're going to rejoice in you. In the name of Jesus, oh God, have your way now. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, on the great with strength today, with your power, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we just believe you right now. Oh God, look on us. Look on us now. Oh my God. My God. See now. See now, Lord. See now. In the name of Jesus. Bless these your peoples now. Give them strength, Lord, to stand. Oh God. Prepare the hearts of your peoples. Oh God. For when this day comes, that they will be ready to be welcome home. In the name of Jesus. We just look into you right now. Looking unto you right now. In the name of Jesus. We just thank you right now. Continue to bless. Bless the one that's going to extend the words of encouragement. In the name of Jesus. That it might be his hearts and souls everywhere. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Our Old Testament scripture comes from Proverbs 31, verses 10, 11, and 12, and verses 25 through 31. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The, the heart of her, of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works praise her in the gates. Praise the Lord. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall go, shall arise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. I have read to you 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 through 18. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of y'all know that Mother Wade was a soldier? Uh, y'all quiet in here now. And I know she wasn't no quiet mother. Now, I know that. I know she wasn't no quiet mother because I know her life. Hallelujah. And we're just going to praise him. Amen. Because this is a home. Do I have your permission, Pastor? Can we have some church in here? Come on, put those hands together all over. Come on. I'm a soldier on the battlefield and I'm fighting. I promise him I will serve him till I die when I'm fighting. On this Christian journey, I have heartaches and pain, sunshine and rain, and I'm fighting. Oh, I've been up and I've been down, but I never turn around, and I'm fighting. Hey, hey, if I hold out. And I know Wow, well, I'm a soldier On the battlefield And I'm fighting Well, I promised him I will serve him till I die And I'm fighting On this Christian journey I have heartaches and pain Sunshine and rain And I'm fighting yeah, I've been up and I've been down, but I never turn around, but I'm fighting, yeah. Well, if I hold out, hold out, hold out, hold out, help me say, I got to hold out, I got to hold out, he's soon to come. I know again. Come on, put those hands together. We're gonna rejoice in here. Come on. Come on, sopranos, help me say I'm on. I'm on the battlefield. Come on, you on the battlefield. Come on, Altos, join in. Fighting for. Come on, I'm on the battlefield.
type of church and Mother Wade love. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So we celebrate her on today. Now, on the behalf of the family, we don't endeavor to be here all day, so we can't shout all day, all right? All right, amen. I know we, we, <laughs> amen, we, we excited. <laughs> We excited because mother got her wings. Praise God. Amen. We excited because according to the Bible, to be absent in the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. So we're excited for her. Praise God. Amen. But we've got to be cognizant, amen, of the stress that's on the family. All right. Amen. 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 So at this time, at this time, praise God, there's going to be an acknowledgement of the guests and our officials that will come. Praise God, amen, the acknowledgement of cards and condolences. Those of you who have been designated to do this, you may come at this particular time, please. All right, my lovely wife, hallelujah, come on. Praise, Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's try that again. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, what an exciting time we are having in this place on today. I was just listening as the saints were praising God, and I remember when Mother Wade used to sit kind of right here where this brother is sitting, and uh, she would come in, and sometimes she'd get that, that, that left arm be going like this, and look like when that left arm would go like that, the church would just shift. <laughs> Mother was powerful, 
and we celebrate her life. She was certainly a dear uh, woman of God, a dear mother here at the Victorious Faith Ministries Church of God in Christ. And I looked at uh, the remains here in the coffin and the casket, and oh, what a beautiful sight. Come once again, let's celebrate the life, the memory, and the legacy of Mother Annie Wade. Come on, let's, let, let's make some noise for this beautiful woman of God. We celebrate her life, and today we have many who have come uh, from far and near to celebrate her life on today. We want to recognize the Bishop uh, Willie Johnson, who's here from Missouri. Uh, also, Minister David Miller. I believe these are family members uh, of this beautiful family, so we recognize you today. Uh, I know Mother Wade served in many capacities uh, here in northern Mississippi. I think district missionary of district number four at one point. And of course, she uh, was serving here in at Victoria's Faith Ministries. Of course, we are part of district number five. Uh, superintendent is the one and only Superintendent Samuel Sago. Yeah. Amen. And uh, But we're so glad to have pastors here from District 5. I see the pastor, the Dr. Percy Washington of the Sweet Canaan Church of God in Christ. Amen. God bless you. The Pastor Clarence Benson of the St. James Temple of Deliverance. Amen. Kruger, Mississippi. Thank God for these great men of God. We're glad to have the jurisdictional minister of music for Northern Mississippi, the elder Michael Virgil, who is also a part of this great family. We recognize you. I also uh, wanted to recognize, I don't know if she's still here or not, but we did have the incoming of Mother Hattie Taylor Scott, uh, our former first lady of the jurisdiction of Northern Mississippi. We're so, so glad that she was able to come and we also see the district missionary of district number three. Amen. My friend and my sister, missionary Sarah Walker. Good to have you with us on today. And of course, I see the district missionary for the host district, district, area, uh, district missionary Lois Scales of district five. I see you, missionary Scales. God bless you. And, of course, we were so glad they were not able to stay. But I do want to recognize, certainly last but not least, our jurisdictional supervisor of the Northern Mississippi Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction uh, Supervisor, Mother Mary Scott. She was able to come by along with administrative assistant, her husband, Pastor John Scott, of northern Mississippi. And so today we recognize these wonderful people who have come from far and near to honor this great giant of a woman. God bless you. Thank you. Kapru Wade, I will share a few of resolutions and cards. Resolution of respect for Mother Annie Lee Wade. We, today, we are today comforted by the words of our Lord, which says, And God shall wipe all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Whereas Mother Wade passed from this life to death, and whereas it pleased Almighty God to take unto himself our sister, whereas in God's holy wisdom he has called her home to dwell with him in the glories of paradise. We offer our sincere condolences to the family. Your sorrow is our sorrow. And we are in prayer with you. Whereas Mother Wade served her holy kingdom with devout ministration to her church for years, whereas she gave generously 
performed her work on the earth and offered her service to the church for the glory and honor of God. Whereas each of us has been blessed by the presence of her in our lives and in our congregations. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the bereaved family. We believe in the words of John, which says, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Respectfully submitted, Mother Corrine Wade Adams, Supervisor Emeritus, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, presiding prelate of the Church of God in Christ, Incorporated. The memory of the righteous is blessed, Proverbs 7, 10, and 7. Our hearts are deeply saddened, but we sub celebrate with you, alumna Dita Paul, and your family, the life of your dear grandmother, Annie Lee Capru Wade, God who is richly in mercy will bless you to know that she has been granted rest from her labor to reward and now awaits the great reward. You have the heartfelt sympathy of the director and entire alumni association. Lovingly submitted Dr. Elaine P. Wright, director. We have a resolution of condolence from Elder Rosman T. Randall, Senior Pastor, Zion Temple Church of God in Christ, Administrative Assistant, Tennessee Fifth Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, Memphis, Tennessee. Northern Mississippi Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, Greenwood District, Women's Department, Resolution, resolution celebrating the life and legacy, Mother Annie Capru Wade. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excelleth them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruits of her hands. Let her own works praise her in the gates. Mother Annie Capru Wade, a woman of composure and dignity, of strength and honor. These are only a few of the characteristics of Mother Annie Wade, etched in the hearts and minds of the Women's Department in Greenwood District. We must now pick up the mantle, which was carefully laid down as Missionary Wade transitioned from labor to reward. The effects of her powerful testimonies Praise and prayer will always be remembered. Missionary Wade has left an example of how to be a pastor's wife, the former first lady of Greenwood District, the former district missionary of the Moorhead District. Though our hearts are saddened, we humbly submit to the perfect will of God. Therefore, we resolve to continue to pray for the entire family. Trust in God will strengthen you. May a copy be placed in the archives, Greenwood District. You have our lasting heartfelt sympathy. May your love and tender mercies of God surround you during your time of sorrow. This is humbly submitted. First Baptist Church in Trenton, Tennessee, Reverend Fernando M. Bailey, Pastor, Annie Johnson Luthen, Church Secretary. This is uh, Sister Dita Paul, Dita Paul and family. This is submitted by, prayerfully submitted, Bishop Earl J. Wright, Jr., Dr. Elaine P. Wright. This is Loving Restoration Ministries, Church of God in Christ. This is in Warren, Michigan. This was submitted a resolution for my family. Chandra Deshawn Cavett, respectfully submitted. A resolution from Elder Curtis Cobbins and Missionary 
Margaret Cobbins. This was submitted. It says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare, prepare a place for you. And if I go, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, ye may be also. Submitted this 10th day of April in the, in the Lord in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on behalf of the pastor and members of the Rock of Ages, Church of God in Christ, Chula, Mississippi, Elder Curtis Cobbins, Pastor, Missionary Margaret Cobbins, First Lady. Resolution of respect in love and memory, Mother Annie Lee Wade, a beloved church mother of the Victorious Faith Ministries, Church of God in Christ. Let us comfort you today from the words of revelation and God shall wipe all tears away from their eyes. Though your days among us were too brief and our grief at your loss is never ending, we draw comfort from the knowledge that you have found safe refuge in the Lord and in our hearts, where no darkness or pain can touch you now. We bless you with love, light, and gratitude. Let it be known that we, Superintendent Samuel and First Lady Sago of the Victorious Faith Ministries, Church of God in Christ, wants our member, Sister Dita Paul, all of Mother Wade's children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and the entire family to know that you are in our prayers as we celebrate the homegoing of Mother Annie Lee Wade. Whereas in God's holy wisdom, he has called Mother Wade to dwell with him in the glories of paradise. The pastor and mother's board of VM. VFM offer their sincere condolences to your family. Your sorrow is our sorrow. Your loss is magnified by the loss of a dear soul in District 5. Whereas our cherished mother shared the gifts of her labor as a mother and committed member of her church and her district, she contributed generously to the church. She performed her work on this earth and offered her service to the church. Whereas she was a loving and attentive mother and grandmother who instilled in her children and grandchildren a strong devotion to the Lord and a sense of responsibility to those less fortunate. We have been blessed by her presence in our lives and our congregation. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace the bereaved family in our common blood, bond of grief and remembrance of our beloved soul. Be it further resolved, we bow in acceptance of the perfection of God's plan to gather each of us to his merciful arms when we have fulfilled our task on earth. Be at peace in the everlasting love of the Lord, respectfully submitted the 10th day of April, on behalf of Pastor and the entire Victoria Ministries family, Superintendent Samuel Sago. I will acknowledge two cards to comfort you. The life that graced the world so beautifully now shines bright in heaven. Submitted with deepest sympathy, Supervisor Mary Scott, District missionaries, leading ladies, and the Northern Mississippi Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. Sympathy and prayers submitted from the Northern Mississippi Minister's Wives Circle, Mother Hattie T. Scott, President. Acknowledgement. We would like to offer our sincere appreciation for all of the prayers, calls, texts, thoughts, and words of condolences offered before and during this time. So many of you have checked on her and reminded her that she was in your thoughts. We now live the words she spoke 
that we may also enter into the kingdom of God as she modeled and taught. taught. Again, from our family, thank you for all you have done. We love you much. God bless Doris and the family. Thank you. The Lord bless you on this afternoon. We're grateful to the Lord. Thank God for uh, those recognitions. Um, the reading of the obituary uh, used to be read silent, but before you do that, I want to acknowledge the fact that uh, through Mother Wade's union to the superintendent, Fred Wade, uh, all at once, she became the first lady of three churches. And those three pastors are here on today, and I want to recognize them, praise God, these pastors that are at the churches that she was first lady at. You've heard from uh, Pastor Curtis Cobbins in the Rock of Ages Church of God in Christ. There's also the uh, church there, uh, Jerusalem, Praise God. There in Milestone, Pastor Billy Scott. Praise God. And lastly, uh, the church there in Lexington, the historic Sweet Cannon Church of God in Christ, Pastor and Dr. Percy Washington. We celebrate these men, praise God, who uh, worked with Mother. Praise God. Amen. Thank God for a dear family member that I just saw walk in, amen, Bishop Miller. I understand, amen, that he is a member of the family as well, Bishop Ernest Miller. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. I'm sure, praise God, that by now most of you have read through the uh, obituary, so for the sake of time, amen, we're going to re uh, move on, all right? There's a selection that is scheduled and which you receive now. Uh, these uh, Levitical amen, singers as they come to celebrate Jesus Christ. God bless you.
the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank God. Let me ask you a question. Are you on that highway? Hallelujah. Are you on that highway? My God, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. There's a space on the program for remarks. Praise God. Amen. Now, I know all y'all got something to say about Big Mama. Praise God. Amen. And we thank God for the life and for the lives that she has influenced. Praise God, amen. I've been asked, amen, to give you two minutes to do this, two minutes each, all right? Praise God, amen. So I want you to be mindful, be mindful, praise God. Now, if everybody in there take two minutes, we'll be here all evening, all right? Praise God, amen. So let's don't do that, praise God, amen. Uh, but uh, we want to open up for remarks, amen, for uh, two minutes each, please. If you can receive a mic, amen, if you can stand right here and... Uh, uh, receive a mic, praise God, amen, that would be sanitized for you and for your purpose, praise God, amen, amen, and we will move forward. So at this time, those of you who desire to have remarks, praise God, amen, uh, stand up, Rashad, amen, stand up with a mic in your hands, praise God, thank you, sir, amen. Uh, come at this time, amen, and have remarks. Praise God. Now, look, y'all, don't make me act ugly, amen, by, you know, by having to set you down, all right? Amen. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Let, 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 me, let me stay nice. Praise God. Amen. Receive at this time two minutes. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Monica Williams. Um, Missionary Wade was my aunt my Aunt Annie Lee, and I'm going to go really fast, but I am the daughter of George Lee Capru and Margaret Capru. My dad was uh, the brother of my aunt, and so Aunt Annie Lee had a really, really special place in my heart. Again, I had to come and just say a word because I think I'm probably the only person that's here that can say that my Aunt Annie Lee was present when they were born. Yes, so I thought I would share that with you. My mom actually went into labor and she wasn't able to get to the doctor. And so she went next door to the neighbor's house. They called the midwife, they called the doctor, he didn't make it. They called the midwife and as God would have it, my mom called her sister-in-law. And so let's just say that had to mean a lot. Just think about it. Out of the people to call, she called her sister-in-law. And so I want to thank God for my aunt because she's been there with me from the beginning. And so uh, very briefly, we were living in Drew, and I was that child that came later in my mom's life. She was 36 when I was born, and so I was the child that the community raised. As in, I would be at my Aunt Annie Lee's house 
about probably six days a week, maybe six or seven. You know, I was just kind of moving around and about, and I was there. She employed me. She was the first person that gave me a job. As in, she had me working around the house doing cleaning, and she would pay me. The benefit to that was that I got to hang out with my cousins that I got to know, but I also got to eat Aunt Annie Lee's cooking. And Aunt Annie Lee was a wonderful cook. As anybody that knows her knows that she was a wonderful cook, and she fixed cakes, and she always had food and so it was also the place that when our family came into town they would normally congregate at Aunt Annie Lee's house so I got to also visit her as my family but everybody else that came into town and so moving on really quickly as I became an adult and went off and would come back into town I would always see my Aunt Annie Lee and I won't ever forget a time that I came and I was actually grown I came to Itabina to do some business and I didn't want to stay in a hotel and I didn't need to stay in a hotel because I had an aunt in town. And so I, t I called her, I said, Aunt Lee, I said, can I spend the night with you? She said, of course you can. And so I finished my business and I stopped by and what I wasn't prepared for, while I knew that my aunt was always a godly woman and I knew she always prayed and she read her Bible, I wasn't quite prepared for at six o'clock PM, the house shut down. And what I mean by that is Aunt Annie Lee said, it's time for us to go into prayer and get ready for the night. And I'm like, 6 p.m.? This is going to be a long evening. <laughs> I say that to say my aunt went into her room and she went into fasting and prayer, well, interceding and prayer and reading her Bible and I heard her in there and I tell you something about that while I was in there and I, it was still a long night but something about that encouraged me to pray more and do more and so the last thing that I want to tell you about my aunt the last time that I remember seeing her that I really really want to share with you is we were having a birthday celebration for her Doris and and her granddaughters were having a birthday celebration and I remember Aunt Annie Lee being there and I remember her enjoying that celebration so much and I remember going up to, to just give her a hug and let her know how much I loved her because I do she had such a special place in my heart and I got to tell you that this powerful woman of God just touched me and we both went into unknown tongues. The spirit of the Lord was so high. She didn't even know which child she was touching. And let me tell you, it didn't even really matter. Whoever it was that needed a word of encouragement and that needed a touch from the Lord, my Aunt Annie Lee had just that. And so, again, I know my two minutes is up. Well, <laughs> well all righty then. I'm going to give this right. mic up. But I just want you guys to praise God with me for my Aunt Annie Lee. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. All right, Sister Monica. <laughs> I've known her most of my life. And looking at her yesterday, I just couldn't even get say, glory. I just saw a soldier going home to get her crown. She was Jesus, Jesus every day. And she was so beautiful and graceful. Whenever I would see her, I would take a picture and send to Doris. So hold your hands up. And Dita, God be able to bless you for coming home, seeing about your grandmother. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spent a many nights there because my, we lived in the country, and I, we would catch the bus, and I would come home with, with Glenn, and we'd spend the night. Anna Lee did our hair. When we were little girls, we lived in the country, but she meant so much to us. She was one of the sweetest people that you will ever meet. 
She was a beautiful woman. She baked good cakes, and we always felt comfortable at Cousin Annie Lee's house. Then as years went on, my mother moved to town. Cousin Annie Lee lived, she and ours lived next door. So when we come to see mother, we would go over there to see her. And I'm sorry, Doris, because I hadn't visited her since we were here, because it was a long time before I knew she, knew she was here. So this is like a family reunion to us. My sisters are here, David is my brother, but we'll never forget Cousin Annie Lee and the love that she showed to us. And your mother taught me in school. Just on the Capru side, we go a long ways back. And we just thank God for allowing them to be in our lives. Thank you, God bless you, and we'll keep you in prayer. Amen. Good afternoon. My name is Patricia Kaysen. I'm the niece of Superintendent Fred William Wade. So Aunt Annie was also my aunt. I think the last time I saw her, we were here at a program. I think Ella Benson was preaching. And I was here once before, and I took her home. I didn't even know that she had moved out of the house, but she was in there. So uh, I just want to say my condolences and goes to the family. I just wanted to get up and say something because uh, I knew her a lot of times when I would go to the house and I would ask Uncle Fred for some money. He said, uh, go in there and check with my wife. <laughs> so I would uh, go in there and she would say, you can have it. So I just want you all to know that uh, she was kind, she was sweet, and she was a giving person. And uh, my condolences goes to the family. My name is David Miller. That was my sister, Lucille. And uh, we live next door to Cunanan Lee at 333 and 331 Joseph Street. And if she was so much, I was, I was, you know, I was a kid and I wasn't saved. And now that I've gotten saved, I understand how Cunanan Lee just laughed at me <laughs> because she knew I didn't understand about salvation. But there are a couple of things that I just want to mention. I'm going to sit down. One of the greatest gifts that she gave to me was that she birthed, she birthed Glenn. And he's had such a profound effect on my life. And people even, even see that, and I thank God for him. But she gave birth to him. And the second thing is, and I tell people now, when I'm at people's house and there's a pound cake, I taste it. I said, well, this, this don't be cutting out of Lee's pound cake. <laughs> and so they, people are like, who was that? I said, well, she was a legend. She was a legend. And those were great times. And I'm just so glad, even for this time in my life, to be reconnected with this family. Amen. Now, if y'all know me, I don't do a whole bunch of talking. Uh, I'm just saying this on behalf of my husband because he's way in Nebraska right now and he wanted to be here but he couldn't be here but we just want to appreciate y'all for sharing Big Mama with us for the, he would call her this his Sunday morning girlfriend this yeah. we would call her <laughs> <laughs> and I would have no problem with it but she would be like no I don't know about all that now <laughs> <laughs> but we just appreciate y'all for sharing Big Mama with us um, we absolutely love her and we're going to miss her and we just we're praying for you and we're asking God to um, you know, just keep you in this time. So thank y'all so much. Amen. This is nice. Uh, Mike's selection y'all got around here. Um, she's my aunt. I'm um, Robert Capru's son. So uh, I ain't really happy with the talking, but I love my aunt. Uh, it's like she is one of the last ones that I had. I got like one left. And it's like we had some good times and came down here. She cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner for breakfast. So, <laughs> so I was like, I was all done. And then I used to come down here and the bed was like six feet in the air. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, 
I'm like, what's going on? They used to tell me it's snakes in the room and all this. And I used to be like, get me back to the city. But um, one thing that we all on the Capru side and Upshaw side, we all know my aunt. She came down before my other aunt passed. And it was like, right when she left, my aunt passed. So it was like a major closure for our family. So I just had to make it here. And, you know, we just came on behalf of the people who couldn't make it. So I love y'all. And uh, <laughs> y'all know I love y'all. And we're just going to make it happen. So Amen. we all we got. Amen. Amen. God bless, God bless. We're certainly grateful to the Lord, and we thank God for this wonderful family. You know, uh, the first pastor that I remember uh, in my life, praise God, was uh, Big Mama's daddy, Tobe, T.B. Kapu. Amen. He was my first pastor, praise God, amen. And uh, that's going a ways back. Praise the Lord, amen. But you talking about somebody was sanctified. Praise God, amen, amen. And he, he put that in her, I think, praise God. My little sister, she used to like to wear fingernail polish, and he'd be examining her fingers every Sunday. <laughs> and putting her on the altar, praise God. <laughs> ah, but God is good, amen, amen. And we've got some other members here at... Uh, Victorious Faith, amen, who served under uh, T.B. Capru, amen, and we're grateful to the Lord, amen, for this family and for the contribution that you have made to Christendom in general. We bless you in the name of the Lord. At this time, amen, Sister Vanessa Slack, it's a niece, she's coming, amen, uh, we shall remember, followed by a tribute from Sister Dita Paul, a granddaughter, and then we'll have, amen, the Samanic Selection moving into the eulogy. Receive them now you. as they come. Thank you again. Let me officially, I'm Vanessa Slack. I've just been up here the other times directing and everything, my Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I bring you greetings from Detroit, Michigan. Amen. And Mother Wade and my mother and sisters. And uh, I just thank God for uh, just being able to be a part of this service, as I should say, home going on. I wanted to be here. Um, my mother... Uh, passed about four years ago, and Mother Wade came to see about my, my mother. Uh, she was there about three weeks, I believe, so. She was there about three weeks, and they laughed and they talked. And I remember something that she said to my mother, because I was, um, the Lord had it set that I would be there with my mother the last, I think, three years. That she, I was full-time working, and it just so happened that I was injured, and I was off the job. I, you know, did the whole thing uh, off the job, and so I was able to spend so much time with my mother driving and talking, and my mother was a powerful evangelist, yeah. and uh, Mother Wade was a powerful evangelist, amen. These women, they, they were something, they, was a, they, they didn't call them preachers, but they was preaching. That's all it was, that was that expounding on the word of God, they preached, and I'm telling you, amen, that they laid hands on the sick, and they recovered, Amen. They would, I'm talking about you didn't go to no revival when they were there and then nobody received the Holy Ghost. It wasn't no revival. Then nobody getting no Holy Ghost. Uh, you, that was just whatever. But I praise God. Uh, I was at the house and Mother Wade had been there and she said, well, she told my mother, she said, Nell, I'm going to uh, go back and spend the last night back with Doris before I go home. And they sat at the table talking and she was waiting for Dita to come to get her. And they sat there and they sang together. They sing songs together, and I recorded them on my phone. And uh, they sing, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Coming For To Carry Me Home. Oh, God. And I heard my mother say, I looked over Jordan. And what did I see? She said, and Mother Wade said, Daddy used to sing that song. They sang together, Pastor, and I recorded them. And so... Mother Wade got ready to go. She said, Nell, she said, they hugged each other, kissed each other. She said, now, Nell, I need you to get better so you can go over to the church and you can help at the church. She said, because now when I go to church, she said, sometimes I get my tamarind. She said, and now when I beat my tamarind, she said, the church goes up. And she said, the church goes up now when I beat the tamarind sometimes. So, 
I remember it so vividly because they laughed and everything. And my mother sat there about 10 minutes quiet. And she looked up. She said, Vanessa. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, you really believe Ann Lee be making the church go up? I said, well, mama, I'll tell you one thing. I said, she came over next door and testified, and the church went up. So I said, yeah, she said, oh, she said, oh, okay. And that was just so funny to me, but I really believe in my spirit. My mother knew she was leaving. And that day, the next day, when Aunt Annalie was getting on the plane, coming back here, my mother was going on her plane to see the Lord. She was taking off. My mother walked out to the car, sat in the car, and slumped over, and that was it. And I believe she didn't want to leave here until her sister left, and I believe that. But I just praise God for my aunt. Uh, thank God for Mother Wade had a way of making you feel like you was doing something. And I'm not being funny. I'm talking about me. Even if I didn't do really nothing, she'd be like, whoa, girl, you did. And I know, like, Mother Wade, I ain't did nothing. <laughs> but she just made you feel so good. And I thank God for that. I thank God for uh, the time of prayer. We would carry on prayer. We would be on Facebook Live, on Zoom Live, and carrying on the prayer. And Doris would call back, girl, mama says she enjoyed that prayer. She had me pray it, play it back over again. And I'm saying, like, Lord, now I don't even really think I really did nothing. But she made you feel so good. And I just thank God for my, and I thank God for my family. I thank God for the roots of our family. I praise God, amen, because I thank, praise God that she lived right in front of us. She lived right when she was at home. She lived right when she came to Detroit, y'all. When she flew there, amen, she came there saved and she left saved. And I praise God for uh, our family. All of us here, amen, came from near and far. And, and it's like a reunion, as we say. You know, but I just praise God for that. I uh, just thank God uh, for just all of our family. I really do. And I praise God for Mother Wade. Has such a wonderful part in our family. Uh, you know, and uh, my husband is actually Elder Slack's grandson. And so my husband is Mother Wade's grandson. So my goodness, we just all meet. Somebody said, girl, you married your cousin. I said, well, it's too late now, 36 years. It's too late now. So hey, you know, it is what it is, it's too late now. But I just thank God, we kept it in the family, hallelujah. And then you all continue to pray, amen. Continue to pray and lift Doris up. We love you, Doris. I want to let you know I love you, Dita, Veronica, the, all the grandchildren. We love you, and we are here for whatever you need. And I hear people say, whenever you need something, just call me. No, don't you tell them. You call them. Check on them. See what they need. Don't wait till they call. Pick up the phone and check on them and see what they need. Just want to let you know we love you. God bless you. Amen. First, give honor to God, who's the head of my life. I promised my mother that I would behave to my pastor, Pastor Samuel Sago and Lady Barbara, to my Michigan pastor, the Bishop Earl to Wright and Lady, uh, Lady Wright. To everyone, I'm just so honored. I'm just so grateful. I want to do the tribute, and like I said, I promised my mother I would behave. I'm not preaching. I'm doing the tribute. I'm not singing, I'm doing a tribute. But I thank God for, for Minister Damian Brown. Minister Damian Brown, we forgot to add his name to the list, but he's a nephew. Everyone you've seen so far is a part of the family. Um, I'm gonna do the tribute, but there's something that I need to clarify before I do this. Despite popular belief, I did not take care of my grandmother. Now, you saw me drive her around. I did her makeup. I did her hair. And for those who don't know, she raised me. But my mother took care of my grandmother. I was my grandmother's assignment. I'm spoiled rotten. I ain't ashamed to admit it. I'm spoiled. I was a project for my grandmother. I kept her busy. I gave her something to do. Even the week before, the week she had the stroke, she fussed at me because 
uh, I had not cooked my children something to eat. And before you start finding scriptures, my children are 27 and 29 years old. I gave my grandmother something to do. My mother took care of my grandmother. If you saw her and she smelled like Bath and Body Works, that was me. But if you saw her and she smelled like Jimmy Choo, that was my mother. If she had on an outfit from J.C. Penney's, that was me. But if she had on something from Nordstrom, that was my mother. I was the project, my mother is the promise. When my grandmother took her last breath, I was on my way, but my mother was in position when the mantle fell. On your way doesn't count if you're not in the position when the time comes. So I'm here to let you know I love everyone, I know what you're thinking. I came down, I came down here because I got a divorce. <laughs> I didn't come down here to take care of Big Mama. I was running, but I knew who to run to. So I'm going to do my tribute. The day the wind blew, when I sit outside, God sends a cool breeze. These are the words she would say to us. We would tell her that it's too hot, but she was ensured God would send a wind. She would sit outside, and surely enough, God would send a wind. In the midst of the sun and the dead of the heat, it was normal for her to sit outside to take a seat. I tried, a few, tried it a few times just to see if it was so. I thought she was crazy for sitting out there, but believe it or not, the wind did blow. What type of woman could bow her head, speak a word, Ask for the wind and her word is heard. All of her life she worked the church, giving, serving, caring for the ill. One day she would come to learn God would answer her at will. She would whisper a prayer and it wouldn't take long. God would move at her request. I'm a witness. She prayed my pain gone. She watched for years as the wind would come, blowing left to right and sometimes taking loved ones. But she remained faithful, believing God would hear her call. No matter what came her way, she stayed with God, careful not to fall. So what was, what was it about the wind? What was it that got her so? We never understood, but always waited for the wind to blow. The wind came for many years, and sometimes it was cold. She aged so gratefully, but she enjoyed the wind, even during her days of old. Still praying, still fasting, still seeking God's face. I can hear her now. You better live right and you better do it with haste. We made plans as, we, as, we, as usual, but little did we know. The day had come for you. The wind would blow. Things got rocky. Seeing you in the hospital was hard to take. I wonder if you could hear my voice. I just needed you to awake. Having you home did lessen the pain. I could kiss your face and rub your head, but it was wings you soon gained. Visitors had planned to come, so the next visitors had planned to come, so the next day I was going to do your hair. But when I came back, you were not there. The wind had come and taken you away. My heart was crushed. I was broken. I couldn't believe you died that day. This couldn't be real, so I looked for breath. The wind had truly come. It didn't blow life. This time the wind blew death. With tears running down my face, I laid on your head. I will forever get that moment you laid in that bed. I quickly accepted what God had done. I decided to take a seat and wait for the shining sun. Mama and I sat there waiting for your body to be gone. We sat there in silence for the wind was not done. It shook the front door. It whistled and it called. We sat there with her body and the wind wasn't done at all. What a mission, for hours the wind blew and all we could do was sit there. As it said, I have work to do. The men finally came, your body they wheeled out. When your body left us, the wind stopped its shout. 
I wasn't asking any questions. I had nothing to say. I didn't know what God was doing when the wind blew that day. But I know you well enough to know that it didn't matter what was going on. You had lived a good life and you were ready to go. I know you had a talk with God. I could hear it in my mind. Lord, if I could just have your ear, let me talk to you about those I leave behind. Save them all. I need them to do your will. Wash them real good. It's the Holy Ghost they must feel. I know she prayed. She prayed for us all. But this is what you must remember. She came at her, he came at her beck and call. So now we sit and wait for the manifestation of his hand because he hears your voice. I believe your prayers are in his plan. We stand in great expectation. You knew what to ask him for even during this time. God has blessed us with more. Does it hurt? Yes. It's a pain. It's hard to bear. But I know you're in a better place. The wind took you there. So please keep in mind one thing is always true. We have to live as she did. The wind will blow for us too. She modeled how to be ready, how to ride the wind. She want us to live so we can live again. So as I take my seat, remember one thing is true. I will never, ever forget that day the wind blew. God bless you. My cousin Abrilia is coming with the sermonic selection. Thank you, Dita. You're welcome. Can the church say, praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Oh, come on, clap your hands and give God praise. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let us rejoice. Oh! All right. Thank you, Jesus. Hey! Thank you, Lord. And let us rejoice and be glad in it. I'm just here to sing a verse of a song, and I'm going to ask you to pray for me. I don't, this is Aunt Annie Lee's personal testimony when I look at her life you ask me to name somebody some people that I think I'm not God who's gonna make it she'd be one amen I love her dearly pray for me as I sing I'm gonna ask you to think about Aunt Annie Lee I know she's not your aunt but I, I know you hear it because you love her this is her testimony to God be the glory for the things he has done How can I say thanks for the things you've done for me here? Things so undeserved, yet you gave. To prove your love oh, for me. Yet the voices of a million angels cannot express my gratitude. All that I am. Never hope to be I owe it all to thee to God be the glory to God Oh, the 
things he this is her talking has done just let me live my live my life this is what I hear her sing and let it be pleasing Lord to thee and should I gain the church say yes yes yeah oh, yeah yeah come on one more time yes Lord Father in heaven, we give you thanks on today. Blessings and glory belong to you. God, you're worthy of all, and we give that unto you, O Lord, that that we have. Glory and honor, majesty and praise. It is thine, O God. Father, we pray for this family today, asking you, O Lord, to undergird them and to strengthen them. Lord, do for them that nobody else can do. Hold them up, O oh God, in this time, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, dear God, Lord, that as they remember Big Mama, Lord, that the glory of God will rise up in their souls. In the name of Jesus, as I stand here, Lord, in this place of oration, 
I ask, Lord, now that you would bless me, touch me, Lord, and anoint me, God, to speak a word of strength and encouragement. Lord, that your name may be glorified and that your people, oh God, may be edified with strength from on high. In Jesus' name, God, we take authority over the devil and every imp of his today. We plead the blood of Jesus and declare in Jesus' name that it is well. Amen and amen. God bless you. And the Lord strengthen you. Lord have mercy. This has been a glorious time of celebration. Look, let me take time, praise God, to appreciate my lovely wife on today, Evangelist Barbara Jackson Sago. Thank God for the Victorious Faith Ministries family. We appreciate you so much. Amen. I want to appreciate also, amen, Mother Eddie Catherine Scott on today. Praise God. Amen. She and her daughter are here and celebrate her. A great friend, amen, of Mother Wade's. And we just thank God for each of you. I want to appreciate you for coming. Amen. Thank God for the upshaws there. Praise God. Good to see you all. Praise God. Amen. We're grateful to the Lord for all that God has done. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming. Amen. I know that many more would have desired to be here. Praise God. Amen. But y'all, amen, we've just, uh, God has allowed, amen, this COVID-19 virus, praise God, to be a part of our living. And so we've, since God has allowed it, amen, we learn to respect it. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. But we're looking for the Lord to bring us through this. I'm convinced, amen, that he's bringing us through. I want to share, amen, just a quick word with you, not to be very, very long, but I certainly want to appreciate this family. Lord have mercy. Y'all, this family, would you just take a minute and give them a hand clap of praise? Praise the Lord. It might be you that's clapping for yourself, praise God, because I know most of y'all in here are relatives on today. But, but thank God for you. Thank God for you. I appreciate, amen, Sister Dina, Sister Doris, praise God, amen, and Sister Veronica, amen. These are some wonderful women of the Lord, praise God, and we just celebrate them. And uh, I just know without a shadow of a doubt that, Amen. God's going to see them through all of this. Amen. I don't endeavor to be before you long. Thank you, choir. Praise God. Those of you who have represented. And I, I, somebody said the choir was out there, so thank you too. Praise God. Amen. But I want to share with you from the word of the Lord just for a few moments. Amen. From the book of Psalm. Praise God. Thank God. Amen. For this Damien Williams. Was that? Brown. Damien Brown. Praise God. Amen. He know what to do with them black and white keys over there. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. He know exactly how to, how to match them up there. Praise God. Amen. Thank God for you, Brother Damien. From the book of Psalm, Psalm 116, I was talking to the Lord. Praise the Lord. What can I say about this woman? Praise God. Amen. Who has, has, has I mean, just so powerful a figure in uh, the eyes of God, I believe, amen. And the Lord led me to this scripture. Beginning, we're going to begin reading at verse 12 of Psalm 116. And it says, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? The psalmist says, I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Says, I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Then, listen, it says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of the saints, his saints. Praise God. Amen. And that's what God dropped in my spirit. Praise God. The next verse says, O Lord, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. So I want to talk to you just a little bit, amen, on today from the subject, amen, when the saints touch the heart of God. Amen. I believe that God's heart has been touched by this mammoth of a woman here. Praise God. Amen. She is such a powerful 
figure, praise God, amen. Mother Annie Lee Carpru Wade, praise the Lord, amen, has touched, praise God. Uh, what a jewel, a jewel, amen, full of virtue uh, and of great price. Uh, her life has touched untold hundreds and possibly, amen, not exaggerating thousands in ways, praise God, that we may never know. You see, because mother was a prayer intercessor. She was an intercessor. She prayed for people and, amen, if you know anything about being, praise God, having the assignment of intercessory prayer, amen, many times God will have you praying for people that you don't even know. Praise God, amen. I know what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. And I know, amen, that she touched my life in a most significant way. You know, I remember coming up, praise God, amen. The Lord blessed me to be one of the drivers for Superintendent F.W. Wade. Praise God, amen, amen. In fact, I just consider myself a little country boy. Praise God, amen. But uh, Superintendent Wade, amen, he was the first one that allowed me to have the opportunity and the privilege to go to the Holy Convocation in Memphis. Praise God. Amen. So uh, I thank God for them. I thank God for them. Praise God. Amen. But uh, so as I drove for them, amen, it was a blessing to me. Uh, but then, amen, as I said, praise God, mother has touched my life in a most significant way back in the year of 2002. I was driving my own car, praise God, and I suffered a terrible head-on collision, glory to God, where both vehicles was traveling at somewhere between 50 and 60 miles per hour. So you can imagine the impact, praise God, when the two hit. And I know, amen, without a shadow of a doubt, that it was the devil's intent to have that one to take me out of here. But God said, not so. Amen. I suffered, praise God, broken ankles and broken elbows, praise the Lord. But I'm standing here to tell you today, God did it. I mean, after getting back home, amen, to complete my recovery after being in the hospital for a while, amen, Mother Wade came by my house. Glory to God. You know, praise God, Fred Wade loved Cadillacs. Praise God. He loved it right in <laughs> So she drove that Cadillac by my house. Glory to God. And uh, came in, praise the Lord, amen. And I want you to know that Mother Wade, she came in and she laid them heavy hands, amen, on my broken bones. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yeah, she was heavy-handed now. Glory to God, amen. But I tell you, praise God, the anointing of the Lord blessed. Glory to God, amen. Look, amen, I didn't get up that day, amen, but I got up, praise God. God healed the bones, amen, and gave me back my dance. Hallelujah, because that's what I had asked. I said, Lord, praise God, here I am here in a wheelchair, praise God. I was in a wheelchair, man, probably for about three months, praise God, because of the fact, amen, I, uh, because of my, my, my ankles and my elbows were broken, praise God, I couldn't use walkers and I couldn't use crutches. I was in a wheelchair, praise God, amen, preaching from the wheelchair, praise God. But mother came by, amen, praise God, laid those hands on me and the Lord delivered. Mother was so grateful to God, amen, to uh, have the opportunity and the privilege to be at uh, Victoria's Faith, amen. She and her family, praise God, amen. Mother would tell me from time to time, praise God, amen. You see, amen, mother had been through a lot. She had seen a lot. Praise God. And she'd tell me all the time, praise God. She's like, Pastor Sago, I got a story to tell you. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Amen. But Dina would never let her tell me. Praise God. <laughs> Dina would never let her tell me. So she, she, went, she went on, praise God, to glory with her story. Amen. But I thank God for her. Hallelujah. Mother was not only precious in our eyes, amen, but she... Her life, praise God, amen, was precious. And her death was precious in the eyes of God. And the word precious, praise the Lord, as it refers to objects, substances, and resources, praise God, it is something of great value. And therefore, praise God, not to be wasted or treated carelessly. Listen to me, praise God. Now, the Bible says, amen, that the death of the saints, amen, are precious in his eyes, amen. It says his saints, 
praise God, he has taken ownership here. To the point, praise God, amen, that uh, she belonged to him. The death of the saints are being counted, praise God, as precious to God. Meaning, praise God, that he has set a high premium, set a high price and a value upon it. It is nothing, praise God, to be treated frivolously or, praise God, nonchalantly. It's precious in God's sight, therefore, it gets his attention, and it's being observed to the extent that uh, where something, amen, is actually being felt of God. I believe, amen, that God's heart was touched, praise God, when it was time for Mother Annie, praise God, to come on home. Praise God, amen. Ah, praise God, amen. We find that uh, precious in the eyes and the sight of God. And, and as I remember, praise God, talking about felt something. Jesus, he felt something there as he wept, praise God, at the tomb of Lazarus. For the Bible tells us there in John chapter 11 and 34 says, And when, or rather it says, and said, uh, uh, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. The Bible says, amen, Jesus wept. Praise God. Then said, praise God, the Jews, behold, how he loved them. Loved him, rather. Praise God. And so we find, amen, that when the saints of the Lord, when it's time for them to come home, praise God, that it gets God's attention. Praise God. In a greater way than he has had, his eyes focused on them before him. And we know that no man can pluck us out of the hand of God. Praise God. And the Father, that's what Jesus said there in John 10, uh, verses 28 and 29. But if the enemy could by any means cause death, praise God, that was outside of what is natural causes, amen, then I believe that that individual would expect Praise God, or rather can be expected, amen, to pay dearly. Praise God, because uh, that life was, and then even, praise God, in death, praise God, it's precious in the sight of the Lord. Praise God, amen. Precious, meaning that it is of great price. So, uh, when the saints uh, suffer in faith, and for God's sake, as they so many times do, frequently do, and so many times we do, praise God. Amen. But it is most acceptable. It is a most acceptable sacrifice unto God and is ranked as high esteem in the eyes of God. Mother Wade, praise God, made such a sacrifice. Yes, she did. Amen. Praise God. She knew and understood. The word of the Lord. The Bible says there in 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, verse 1, it says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Ah, her earthly house, that old physical building, it was weak, frail, praise God, and in, was in the process of deterioration. But she believed God to heal her and praise God, uh, for she had great faith in the God that she served. As I heard you say, man, I believe that mother uh, knew that God heard her prayers uh, when she went to him. Glory to God, amen. Although mother was kind of weak on her feet, praise God, but when the service would get high, as they oft time would, praise the Lord, amen, mother would get up, hallelujah. And when mother would get up, praise God, somebody else would get up because mother, she wouldn't just be still, and we didn't want mother to fall. Glory to God, hallelujah. But we couldn't set her down. Glory to God, amen. Mother, praise God, she believed God for her deliverance. Hallelujah. As she would move about, praise God, in faith, move about, praise God, trusting in God, stepping out, amen. She believed because she knew what God was able to do. In my spiritual ear, praise God, I can hear you saying right now, oh, oh Lord, have mercy. All that faith, and she went home without being healed, praise God. But I beg to differ with you. Hallelujah, praise God. I believe that the Lord healed mother, and that's where she is. Praise God, that's why she's where she is today, because she's in the presence of the Lord. 
And she's been delivered from all the ailments. She's been delivered from all the pain. She's been set free from the agony and from the turmoil, praise God, that comes with these old earthen vessels. So mother wasn't disappointed. Hallelujah. Just a few days ago, God came and said, it's time for your healing. You prayed for others to be healed. You prayed for others to be delivered. It's time for yours now. And he healed her. Then he told her, praise God. Amen. This house that you're in, praise God. Come on. Go with me. I've got a new home for you. I've got a new place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, praise God, we find, amen, that mother, uh, she moved. She wasn't evicted, praise God, but she moved. Praise God, amen. She moved because she had a new place to move to. The song said that we're sending up timber every day. And mother's mansion was ready for her. Somebody shout glory. God had designed her mansion. Um, and now, praise God, she's in the presence of the Lord. Um, and everything is all right now. Um, somebody shout glory. Ooh, hallelujah. She went on home uh, to a new house uh, with a new body, praise God. Uh, the Bible says one that's not made by man's hand. Uh, mother, get on up uh, and get out of here. Uh, she laid her head back uh, and got a glimpse of Jesus. Uh, and she said, I'm going home uh, where my possession lies. Uh, I'm going home uh, where my reward is. Uh, mother's death. Um, is precious to the Lord. Uh, all of God's people uh, are precious in his eyes. Uh, both the dead uh, as well as those who are alive. Um, I heard Paul say um, in Romans 14 and 8, um, he said for whether we live, uh, we live unto the Lord. Uh, and whether we die, uh, we die unto the Lord. Um, whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. Um, for to this end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord, both of the dead and the living. Somebody shout glory. Mother had touched the heart of God, for precious in the sight of God is the death of his saints. Yes, God loves us all. He cares for us all. But the fact still remains. There in Psalm 7 and 11, he said, God judges the righteous. And God, listen to me here, is angry with the wicked every day. Yes, he is. Uh, every day uh, praise God uh, just simply means continually uh, he doesn't refer um, uh, to the outbreak of wrath of God every day uh, but to God's continual uh, displeasure uh, to those who elect and choose uh, to live wickedly uh, you are here today uh, but I want to serve notice to you uh, it's time for you uh, to examine yourself. Uh, mother prayed for you. Uh, mother cried for you. Uh, mother wept for you uh, that you would be saved. Uh, hallelujah. I just want to tell you uh, here today uh, while I got your attention uh, I need you to know uh, that in a moment's time uh, you can be changed. Uh, you can be changed. Um, you can change your status. Yes, you can. You can change your status from wrong unto right. You can change your status from sinner unto saint. You can change your status. And what I need you to do is to just hear the voice of God. Adhere to the word of God. Right here. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to leave this place out of the will of God. Hallelujah. No, you said you love auntie, grandmama, mama, cousin, whatever she was to you. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in Christendom, we believe, hallelujah, that if we really live right, 
Amen. Then one day, we're going to see those again who've gone on before you. We believe that, don't we, y'all? We believe that. Hallelujah. And we look forward to the time, praise God, when we can come again and celebrate joy, peace, and everlasting life with mother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I believe that I would be, I know this is a funeral, y'all, but I believe that I would be remiss in my duties. As a servant of the Lord, praise God, to not pray for you. To give you an opportunity, amen, to receive Jesus, praise God. Amen, y'all. Look, we're, look, we're in a battle here. We're, look, we're in, in war, y'all. And in battle, praise God, you, and, and when war is going on, you cannot, amen, take one moment for granted because you don't know what the next is going to bring. Hallelujah. So if within your heart, praise God, you know that there's something, amen, that's not like the Lord in you, praise God. The good thing, amen, about receiving Jesus, man, a whole lot of people don't have to know about it, amen, praise God, because it's between you and the Lord. The Lord said, amen.